Hey guys, sorry, I actually uh, I accidentally got cut off in the last video, but I was uh, starting to say that pretty soon I'm going to start uploading um, this nutrition series. It's uh, I spell it N-E-W, nutrition, and it's going to be um, basically the, the stuff that we're learning about now. Um, it's still kind of controversial, which is silly because it's, it's all scientifically backed, but um I want to do a series on it, um, just kind of the, the, the newer information that's come to light, um, kind of putting to rest some of the old myths about nutrition, like meal timing, and um, you know, post-workout nutrition, pre-workout nutrition, breakfast, um, also like if there's a difference between complex carbs and simple carbs. Uh, when it comes to body composition, um, glycemic index, and just stuff about flexible dieting, um, which is what I use, um, things like that. This is what the nutrition series is going to focus on. I want to get information about that out to a lot of you and let you know that um, nutrition, when it comes to fitness, um, Nutrition isn't, it's, it's the most important part of the process, but it is a lot less intricate, it's a lot less difficult than they've made it. Um, you know, these supplement companies and, and magazines and such, they've, they've told you a lot of things about nutrition that just simply aren't true in order to get you to buy more supplements um, or buy more magazines or, you know sell ad space in their magazines um, so that series will focus on that putting putting to rest uh, these fitness and nutrition myths stuff like that um, it'll be nutrition based so it'll be just the nutrition aspect of it um, I might not link like a whole lot of studies I might link like one study um, per video that kind of gives an idea of you know, that what I'm saying isn't bullshit, um, but to be honest, I mean, you can Google shit, <laughs> you know what I mean, I'll tell you the, the general gist of something and the idea of it, why it works or doesn't work or why it's a myth or if it's true or whatever, and then um, then feel free to Google whatever it is that I said, you know, and um, make up your own mind about it, but I'm trying to put stuff out there that is accurate and scientifically based, so... Don't ask for a whole bunch of studies and things like that. Um, I've, if I'm talking about it, I've read up on it and I've done studies on it, um, or I've read studies on it. So it, it's not bullshit. It's not just coming off the top of my head. You know, I'm not talking about out of my ass here. So you can always Google anything that I say, um, and of course there's going to be different opinions on it. But usually you're going to find some um, solid, long-term scientific studies backing up the stuff that I say because I don't want to give you guys the wrong advices. Um, so look for that coming soon. I've already put out one. It's called uh, Nutrition Number One. The anabolic window is bullshit. Just talking about post-workout nutrition. Um, so look that up on the channel if you haven't watched that. And then um, there'll be some more coming soon. I think the next one I'm going to do is on meal timing and its relevance. Um, is it relevant at all? Alright guys, um, probably do that video tomorrow, i uh, have that out for you tomorrow or the next day, and I'm really going to start, I don't have a quality camera right now, or a laptop, so a lot of this stuff's going to be from my phone, I apologize for the quality, and um, the editing, but, you know, the further I get into this, and the more money I start making, um, the, the better job that I get, you know, once I start working again, and, um, also making some money off of this fitness thing. Um, I'll be able to invest in some quality equipment. Get some better videos out for you guys. So, I will check in tomorrow, let you know what's going on, and we'll see you then. Thanks.